what's good josh will ross back at again with another video so someone has sent me this article wanting me to talk about the drew mcintyre and cm punk feud and how there is some real life uh beef between them but they're able to put that aside and make you know do some great business with each other as we've seen on wwe television for the majority of this year and uh i think it's uh drew being interviewed and him talking about their real life issues and them coming together to tell this great story so we're gonna check this out should be an interesting one uh this is on tjr wrestling website drew mcintyre opens up about real life issues with cm punk uh, when CM Punk made his return to WWE, uh, WWE at Survivor Series, Drew McIntyre stormed out of the ring and quickly left the arena. While some reports downplayed the situation, McIntyre made it clear he was less than impressed to see the former AEW star. The rivalry uh, then took a fresh twist at the Royal Rumble where Punk got injured during a skirmish with McIntyre. This launched the pair into a nine-month, I repeat, nine month storyline which has grown uh more violent and more intense with e uh with every passing week during an interview with mike johnson for pw insider mcintyre discussed his rivalry with punk and uh the very real issues behind it i mean if i had a chance to really think about it initially i was pretty annoyed that cm punk returned to wwe but i understand business and i understand why it was done but I found it interesting that everybody started going, oh, it's obviously going to be this or obviously going to be uh, this guy. I was sitting there thinking there's a lot of real history here and a lot of real feelings. So it's that's crazy how Drew kind of had an idea potentially of maybe them feuding or there was going to be some type of, uh, I guess you could say, um, back and forth between them because we all assumed, obviously, that cm punk and seth rollins that was going to be the you know the next big feud and it seemed like that's where they were heading into that direction before cm punk got injured but drew kind of already had this idea like yeah you know we may end up having some type of program uh relatively soon and it happened so it's kind of interesting that drew kind of picked up on it like yeah people think it's gonna be seth and cm punk but it, you know we have some real life issues too um so he said, I was sitting there thinking there's a lot of real history here and a lot of real feelings. I've got it. I've got. And if I get the opportunity, I know we could tell the most compelling story of all, because no matter my real feelings, I'm still a professional. You know, he's still a professional. And we've been given the platform to show the world what we can truly do creatively. Our creative team, obviously led by Triple H, is very much you uh you go out there and you take this creative as far as you can take it you make people feel you make people believe and it's not so hard to make people believe when you truly feel what's good on screen inside and out um uh after Punk avenged his loss to McIntyre at SummerSlam by grabbing the win at Bash in Berlin, he looked to move on, but the Scottish star had other plans on the following episode of Raw. McIntyre violently assaulted Punk, ensuring he left on a stretcher a week later. The match at Bad Blood had been confirmed. So, it's very interesting to know that when CM Punk came back, a lot of us, including me, was like, yep, Man, they're going to set up something with CM Punk and Seth. They're already planting the seeds. Seth was going crazy. But you didn't really pay attention to Drew just kind of storming out. Now it makes sense. And the fact that he was like, I think we could tell a better story. And what's crazy is right now, as of right now, they're telling a better story. They're telling a really good story. Not to say CM Punk and Seth is not going to cook. We know it's going to cook. And they were building to it. Right now, this has been the best feud in WWE so far. And one of the best feuds in wrestling. It's that damn good. And Drew was spot on. And the fact that he's like, despite our real feel my real feelings towards the guy, you know, we can do business. We can tell the best story possible. Because you don't know what's real and what's a work. And this is where I've said this before. The best storylines, the best promos always involves a little bit of realism to the point where you don't really know 
what's gonna happen you have you're you're confused you have no real indication where does the 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 real situation begin and where does the work begin you know you you it, they're blurring the lines and they have they've alluded to it they haven't really talked about it but you've heard um wade bear talk about their history and cm punk i mean Drew has mentioned their history. CM Punk hasn't really said much about it, but Drew has mentioned their history in the past. So in those promo segments, that's how they really feel. And it works. It's so good. This is why I say that if you're in a wrestling business, you're not going to like everybody. You're not going to be cool with everybody. You're not going to be friends with everybody. There may even be a situation where you, you may want to punch someone or you may end up punching someone. But if you're able to, to do business everybody eats your family eats more you may not like this guy but if you do some business with them and y'all can tell a compare compelling story why not do it they have the best feud in wwe right now and it's not even for a championship initially it, it you know it was just over you know someone getting injured then drew mcintyre trolling him and, and being an ass and laughing at him being injured and then CM Punk doing everything he can to make sure Drew doesn't win the championship. And then it became about the bracelet that means so much to CM Punk. Like it's it's amped up, but the hatred has always been the same, but now it's intensified. We got a hell in a cell that it's deemed worthy of a hell in a cell. People are looking forward to this match and has no title on the line. You only are able to do that if you let these guys go out there and create. If you go the route that Tony Khan has done in the past, and I'm bringing them up because I feel like none of this, we wouldn't even have this feud if it wasn't for Tony Khan sitting everybody down in that locker room and telling them, hey, let's, I don't give a damn if you don't like this person. Let's get this going because we're going to make some damn money. We could have had one of the best feuds ever in AEW. One of the better ones. I don't know why. Turn something real into to, to a story. I, I, I don't get it. If, all, if Tony Khan would have did his job, we don't have this legendary feud. We don't have this great feud. We don't have this because this shows all you have to do is sit some people in a room, get some shit done. He's the boss. Let's make some damn money. And that's it. You ain't got to be friends with the guy, but make some money. Simple. And that's what they're doing. Imagine if C if Triple H was like, nah, you got some real life beef with each other. We're not going to do this. Seth has real life beef with him too. Now, I'm sure there's other people in that locker room that don't like CM Punk. But guess what? They could possibly tell a good story. So you would essentially take away the fans opportunity to have something great because two wrestlers don't like each other it's wrestling i don't know what else to say if there's money to be made especially in the wrestling business and you can benefit from it why not do it your point don't have to stand you know you don't have to be nice i mean in the sense of you don't have to be friends with the person just hey i don't like you you don't like me i'm gonna list my grievances a while or let's tell this story that's all i'm saying bro that's all I'm saying. I feel like there have been missed opportunities and now WWE is capitalizing off them. And Drew himself has said, I'm not, you know, I don't like the guy, essentially. But I'm a business person. I can be professional. He can be professional. Let's go out there and tell the best possible story we can that the fans will truly enjoy. And here we go. We win as fans. All I'm saying, if you get into the wrestling business, not everybody's going to be your friend. And that's okay. But if you're able to make some money out of it, if you're able to entertain the fans out of it, or if you're able to become a bigger star because of it, why not say, I'm going to put my ego aside. Let's work. Let's do what we got to do. Once we're done, we can go our separate ways. Boom. So, comment down below. Let me know what y'all feel about Drew McIntyre's comments here. And um, let me know some other wrestling related news or videos y'all want me to check out. I definitely will. Appreciate all the love support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.